Hey, what up, everybody? This is Steve Rich coming to you with the uh, UFC 168 video. I've gone on here and I've said a thousand times that I'm not the biggest UFC fan, but honestly, this looks like one of the biggest fights they've ever had. This is probably the most uh, build up they've had since. Um, what was the last fight that I really, really got into? There was a fight with uh, Silva uh, going up against my boy, and my boy lost. And uh, I was upset about that, but that was one of the first fights that I ever really got into. Uh, when I subscribed to the uh, Wrestling Observer uh, newsletter and started listening to the podcast, honestly, uh, I didn't really know anything about UFC. I I'd watched the Brock Lesnar fights. I watched the Frank Shamrock fights as a kid but way back uh, in the day, but uh, I had never really came around to watching it since they sort of revolutionized uh the sport and, and, and sort of made it, uh, you know, major league. I, I honestly, one of the real reasons that I really got into listening to it was laughing every time I talked about the fighter Shogun, because I would think about Billy Gunn and uh, Big Show as a tag team back on SmackDown back in the day. Um, but honestly, uh, I do listen to the, a lot of this stuff, even though I sort of roll my eyes, you know, when Dave rambles on for, you know, 30 minutes just trying to get through whatever UFC stuff he's going to talk about to get those little nuggets of uh, wrestling talk at the end or just to make it uh, to the end of the mailbag. But uh, two huge fights uh, with this being tonight from Las Vegas. Um, we have Anderson Silva going up against uh, Chris Weidman. Uh, Weidman was the guy who uh, defeated him, ending his longest-running UFC title uh reign of all time and you gotta wonder you know Silva who's gonna go down is more than likely one of the best UFC fighters of all time is he honestly gonna be you know the guy's gonna be able to come out tonight and regain that title if I was a betting man honestly I would bet on um on Silva to take the title back but uh I think that honestly you know more than likely age is gonna uh, creep up with him you know he's been doing this for a real real long time even though he's been you know been one of the uh, the best champions and one of the best fighters in UFC history. You know, it, it is maybe time to pass that torch. And, you know, Weaven was a guy that a lot of people picked uh, to beat um, Silva after, you know, Silva having so many fights and so many of these guys never having a chance, you know, once the bell rang and they closed the uh, the octagon door. Um, and they also, one of the things that's really bringing this in is, you know, once, uh, you know, Chick started fighting in UFC, people threw their hands up in the air saying, you know, hey, what's next? You never know, you know, what they're going to do. You know, is there really a place for this? But, you know, they've, they've really built a, a women's division. They're building a whole show, um, you know, where they uh, are bringing up the uh, chicks fighting uh, fighters of tomorrow, uh, putting them with, you know, actual, uh, you know, fighters that, that um, be their, you know, mentors is it, to get them through the whole thing. I, I don't know. It's fun to listen to the reviews about the whole thing. But uh, I don't think there's a, a rivalry in wrestling that compares to anything about, you know, Rousey and Tate. Uh, I really don't know if I really believe how much, um, you know, that, that Rousey hates this chick, uh, honestly, but, um, you know, there's a lot of hate being spewed out in this whole thing, and, I, and, and sort of a little piece of me wishes that I would have watched uh, The Ultimate Fighter to see, you know, how bad these chicks, you know, really got into it to, to really do it. I, I don't think that Rousey is somebody that, you know, could be beat. I think she is one of the best, you know, chick fighters in the world. That arm bar is pretty freaking scary. You can go on YouTube and watch about a thousand of her takedowns. But um, I don't know. Tate's gonna give her the fight of her life. If anybody's gonna beat her, it is gonna be Misha. So uh, we'll have to see where we go from here. My money's on Rousey, but uh, should be one hell of a fight tonight. Let's get this done. December twenty eighth, live from the MGM Graham Garden Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada.